Hello, I am Hong Yu Su from National Taiwan University. Today, I will present our work titled "Deep Plug and Play Nighttime Non-Blind Deburring with Saturated Pixel Handling Skins." The goal of non-blind single image deburring is to recover the sharp latent image from the provided blurry image and blur kernel. It is worth noting that. There are many saturated pixels in nighttime blurry images. Previous studies often fail and create severe ring artifacts in nighttime images. Here is the ground truth of the deburr result. We can focus on the apple of the ray boundary box for the following comparison. For example, traditional optimization-based methods can restore blurry images with less ring, but come with severe blocky artifacts. As shown in the red boundary box, the contour of leaf is roughly removed. On the contrary, state-of-the-art learning-based methods do not think robust in datasets with highly exposed saturated pixels, and even generate severe artifacts in both saturation and non-saturation region. Compared with previous studies, our method not only preserves image details with the deep learn prior, but also generates fewer artifacts due to the proposed saturated pixel handling schemes. Our contribution can be summarized as follows: We design a unified plug and play ADA and deburring framework with a deep learn regularizer. The proposed optimization flow can efficiently remove blurry artifacts in nighttime images. Without any handling schemes, the deconvolution algorithm often fails and creates severe artifacts. As a result, we propose new saturation handling schemes to suppress artifacts emerging from the saturated pixels. First, the pixel stretch mask makes deconvolution meet the assumption of the linear blur model. As shown in this figure, the mask reduces the saturation region ring. Second, the image segment mask excludes saturated pixels during deconvolution to reduce the ring in the non-saturation region. However, blur artifacts cannot be removed completely due to the loss of information near saturated pixels. We can obtain the deburr result with fewer artifacts through both masks. However, for the trade-off between ring suppression and deburring performance, the image segment mask should only be activated for highly exposed images. Therefore, we propose a saturation awareness mechanism to decide when to apply the mask. When applied to nighttime images, the general blur model often fails, causing severe ring artifacts in the saturation region. To meet the assumption of linear blur model, the revised blur model can be formulated as follows. It is worth noting that pixel stretch mask serves as a clipping function to max the value of the blurred image within the sensor range. Following the paradigm of image segmentation, we classify pixels of the image into two classes based on the hard ratio file. The first class is saturated pixels, which is the black region in the target mask. The second one is non-saturated pixel which is the white region in the target mask. Besides, the cross-channel consistency is incorporated to refine the segmentation result. The cyan pixels in the mask mean that both blue and green channels are not saturated. This color mismatch will generate color artifacts during deconvolution. The cross-channel consistency is incorporated to refine the mask, removing color artifacts during the conversion. For nighttime number deburring, we define two optimization problems. The first one is problem as for deburring both saturated and non-saturated pixels. N is the pixel stretch mask. The first is a person diatom, and the second is a deep learn prior. The second one is problem U for addressing the refinement of non-saturated pixels. And U is an image segment mask. The first is also a Poisson data turn that focuses on the similarity of the non-saturation region. 
and the second term is also different prior. Different from problem is the segment mask is a binary mask, so we add a non-negative constraint for logarithmic singularity. After designing two problems, we numerically solve them using the idea and solver. More mathematical details can be found in our paper. Here is a blurry image with low saturation levels. As shown in the green box inside the lower image, there are more obvious light streaks for blurry images with high saturation levels. The problem is can only restore blurry artifacts for the blurry image with low saturation levels. But for the high saturation level, the blur results of problem S often comes with severe ring artifacts. Consequently, an additional problem U will be incorporated into the ADN optimization flow to reduce ring in the non-saturation region. However, for the trade-off between ring suppression and deburring performance, the image segment mask is activated only for highly exposed images with severe ring. The proposed saturation awareness mechanism estimates the saturation level with maximum pixel value during optimization and decides when to activate problem U to reduce ring. When problem U is activated, we blend the recovery results of two problems in every iteration of the ADN flow. Our unified plug and play ADN deburring framework incorporates the proposed handling scheme to reduce artifacts and a deep learning regularization term to preserve image details. For the quantitative comparison, our approach is comparable to the state of the art methods in PSNR and SSIM values across three different synthetic datasets. Here is a visual comparison of real world blurry image. As shown in the red bounty box, our method generates deeper results with finer image details and fewer artifacts in the saturation region. Our contribution can be summarized as follows. First, we design a unified plug and play ADN and deep learning framework with a deep learning regularization term. Second, for highly exposed images, an additional optimization stage is introduced to remove artifacts commonly seen in the non saturated regions. Third, the debug results on synthetic datasets and real-world blurry images demonstrate that our approach is comparable to state-of-the-art methods. Visually, our method generates debug results with finer details and fewer artifacts.